Hey guys, so I uh, wanted to give you guys an update as to what happened. We did make it to our campsite late last night. Thankfully there were some people here to help guide us into our spot because it was so dark. Uh, this campground isn't really well lit. So um, they were here to help us get in our spot and it wasn't cold. It wasn't as cold because we got to turn on our space heaters. Our gas is still not working. Um, we haven't even looked at it. We're really just tired, so we probably won't even look at it till tomorrow, maybe. Um, but we made it safe and sound, and the kids are really enjoying what they're seeing right now. Um, and it's it's really hot in our trailer right now, um, so we decided to step out of it and just kind of take a walk and uh, get some fresh air. But I'd rather be really hot than really cold, so at least we can deal with that a lot better. But here is what uh, we're, we're at. This is uh, Yogi Bear Park or something like that um, in Waller, Texas. But my kids woke up to this this morning after we went for a walk to go meet the uh, manager and they're totally spazzing out because they can't actually use it. But it's the, like a huge water park. So lots and lots of stuff to do whenever it gets warmer. They said they don't open it till March, so we still have two months. But um, they have lots of stuff. And then over there, I don't know if you can see it that well, that huge thing is a ginormous playground and then the, the big wall sitting in front of it is like a mo an outside movie theater and then they, these whole buildings are uh, arts and crafts so lots and lots of fun for the kids and we've already seen a couple kids so that's nice um, this is a family park so um, we're really excited that the kids can get out and see some stuff and we don't have to be yelled at for them being so loud so because it's kind of expected here so what kid wouldn't be excited to be here but lots and lots of stuff to do and it's so all closed. yeah it's cold it's all closed what do you think of the park that you're gonna be working at pretty nice nice cabins I just looked at one of the cabins they're uh, really luxurious and I kind of wish I would be staying in one right now. <laughs> yeah, our son is enjoying finally getting to bike ride. So you can tell how nice it is. We're all just wearing a, just a sweatshirt. So really happy that we made it safely and that it's a lot warmer. Sure. Since it's so nice out, I thought I'd show you guys what we're dealing with. This is our diesel truck. Um, we really like it and we haven't had any issues with it. So this is our rig. Um, she's pretty old, but definitely does the job and she's paid off. So it's debt free living right here. So that was the main goal in buying her. Um, she does have a, some issues that need fixed up. My husband broke the key off in one of our basement compartments this morning and I just stinking put a new lock on that thing before we left. So I'll have to fix that or one of us will have to fix that at some point. We don't have our water hose turned on yet because, oh well, we turned it on just for a minute, but there's a leak and it's in between this guy right here and we have to just get a new one. This is to connect two uh, female pieces, or sorry, two male pieces so that we can pop this off easily. But we don't have, we won't have water too much, but I'll show you the whole deal with the gas. So this right here is our gas line. So this little squiggly thing. And um, 
it's been like this since we bought the trailer and there was a residential fridge in here and we took it out so we bought this fridge off eBay and this is clearly the gas input um, so what we did was we took off this little safety thing that someone had put on here it was just an extra thing you don't have to have this on here but it's a shut off valve for the gas so we just tried to connect this to this so that we could use the fridge while we're boondocking and um, there was a leak in between the fittings so we took it off and put this thing back on but then we put this thing back on there was a leak right here so might possibly still be a leak here um, not quite sure how to fix that but I think that's what's going on with the whole propane thing so just because we messed with that a bit too much so what are... and there's my little babies can you guys say hi? Curry, how do you feel about being here? Are you excited? Excited. You got to ride your bike today? Yes. Yes, do you like riding your bike? Where'd you go? Okay. Staying nice and cool? Is the sun's hot? So, that's where we're at right now. Those are the awesome, awesome steps that someone gave us at our last campsite, um, our campground, and they just wanted to use them for the duration of being at Amazon, and they're really nice, and they work perfectly with our trailer. Um, so, got really just blessed with that. Then, back here, I don't know if you can tell, clearly those are not the trailer jacks. We do have trailer jacks right there, but um, they're broke. Not even sure if you can see them, but they're right there. And there's just no uh, piece like this to jack it up. That whole centerpiece is missing. And actually, my husband put these up this morning. Now that I'm looking at it, I think he put them in the wrong spot. So we'll have to rectify that. But here she is in her glory. Um, when we first bought it, it did have an awning, really large one. And we attempted to unroll it, but it got stuck. Um, stuck to where our doors couldn't even open. So we had to take it down. And it was molded and just disgusting anyways. So here's the uh, steps we were talking about in a different video. My three-year-old took off somehow. I have no idea how he did that. But yep, we have a window open right now because it really is just hot in there. The sun's beating down in there. So that's good, right guys? We're not cold. Yay! So that's our little update for today we made it safely to our destination and um, we're warm so thanks for watching guys